Uh, after nine years of podcasting from London about being an Irish man abroad, comedian Jarlath Regan has returned home to live in Ireland. Not just Jarlath, though. Do you know, he did bring the family with him. He was allowed. He did bring <laughs> Tina oh. and Mikey with us. Well, good morning to Tina and Jarlath Regan. How are I you doing? I can't think about anyone else yeah. without looking at the cardigan, though. I mean, literally, <laughs> that thing. It is spectacular. It's that a is, bit Bosco, isn't it's it? It's my cardigan. Yeah. It's my favourite cardigan. It's actually. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it, I love it. Like, it looks like something out of Nintendo Super Mario. <laughs> it's fantastic. Like, hello, sunshine. Tina, Tina Regan is here. It's so lovely to have you Thank on the couch. I know you're very me. nervous. So I am a little bit nervous. I am, but I'm happy to be here. It's Thanks lovely to be here because, Jared, it's, you know, we get to talk to you I'm lovely all the time. But <laughs> yeah. now you have managed to wrangle your wife. Yeah, yeah I did Who twist is, her arm. Yeah, twist yeah. her arm for a brand new podcast. A brand new podcast. Honey, you're ruining our kid. It's the parenting podcast from the Irishman Abroad Podcast Network. And to be totally honest, it was an idea that Tina came to me with. Yeah, well, only because I kept seeing all these parenting podcasts, uh, you know, making fun of how awful kids, every kids can be <laughs> and moms struggling. And then I had a lot of moms and dads coming to me in the classroom struggling. And I laughed at Jarlett one day about, oh, we should do a podcast. But Jarlett was like, actually, this is a good idea. There's a, mm. a gap for help and fun at the same time. So I feel I think, like the name as well, Honey, You're Ruining. Are, who's the honey here? <laughs> and who's well, doing the ruining? That is something I say to Jarlett all the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. every day, I'm like, oh, not again, Jarg. Come yeah, on. I, I was clueless. Like I am pretty clueless, <laughs> and Tina's always been the one guiding me. But she does it in a way that isn't finger waggy. So when yeah. she presented this idea, I was like, yeah, if people anonymously submit their emails, be a safe place for them to tell us what's really going yeah, on. Because as anonymous you know, Tommy, questions. you can't really tell people. What's really no, happening? No, no, no. Behind what he really does. happened. Yes. I come in and tell him where, and then she's like, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened yeah. last night? I mean, what did you do to your child? Yeah. He did a poo in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, anonymous. And you know that, anonymous. Yeah. And he's really proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like, like picked, yeah. it, picked it up and flung it. <laughs> where but I mean, did he see this behavior, though? <laughs> <laughs> that's the question. That's the anonymous yeah. bit. Yeah. But Tina, like that's kind of because uh, parenting is very, very stressful, yeah. but can be very funny if you yeah. take that side of it. Oh yeah. So do you try and give the bit of advice, but yeah. also kind of have a bit of a laugh between the yeah, two? Yeah, we do have a laugh, and we do obviously take all the questions very seriously. But it's about getting the parents who are emailing in are are so stressed out. You can really feel it, and they just we just want to help them feel empowered and get back to enjoying their children again. Because you we know, should say you work in this area, Tina. Yeah, I've, you know. worked, I've been a teacher in early years in special education and behavioural teacher for 20 years now. And mm. uh, I've seen it all. And I just think children are amazing. And sometimes, you know, the problems can be that, you know, we underestimate how kids and what, you know, the way they're acting, parents sometimes think, oh, well, that couldn't be really a problem because they're only tiny. But no, they completely have figured you out and they know what you you, they know what they're doing and with a bit of guidance mm -hmm. you can, can get through this and get back to having a very happy home the again. The crack is there. Like the yeah. crack is there to be found because it's a ridiculous situation. The idea that we're being asked to raise these kids. <laughs> I know. When, you know, we regularly push doors marked pull yeah. and can't book flights. Yeah. You know? It is yeah. silly that you find yourself in this position and the worry is a kid does something and you go, Oh my God, is this who they're going to be from now on? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes allaying the fears is the best thing that Tina can do for you. Yeah. It's just kind yeah. of go, no, it's okay. It's going to be okay. And you'll work through this and you'll get through it. So that kind of, she won't say it, but some of the emails replying afterwards going, what you said worked within two well, weeks. That's been really nice. It's been lovely. People, I stay in touch with everyone who gets in touch and I, uh, give them a strategy and a way of coping. And then when it works, you just feel like, oh, thank God, that's Why amazing. did you say that on the telly? You're never <laughs> going to get to sit down. So people just be like, okay, so free advice. Oh, oh, a parenting let's expert go. on this yeah, show tell it you It has what. been a bit overwhelming, I feel, but I'm happy to do it because you can really feel the struggle. And also it's not really moms, it's loads and loads of dads oh, yeah, getting yeah. in touch. Yeah, and, which is good know, to see. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Jared, from your point, because like we just mentioned, like you've been podcast for nine years, The Irishman mm. Abroad, huge success. You've yeah. had a number of other podcasts as well. Like you mustn't, you must love that. You must love something special about podcasts and keep you in it. Because if you think of some of the names you've interviewed, like mm. then, the, like, would there have been huge nerves in that? Or is this more nervous actually talking about something that's a bit more intimate with children? Well, yeah, I guess the centre of really good podcasting for me is curiosity and passion. 
and that mm. if you're curious about people, that's a great interview, mm. right? You really got to take an interest. The passion is really there and obvious with Tina and the kids because she just is so devoted to this, has devoted her whole life to it. Yeah. And the curiosity, I, don't, I think that people who don't have kids are curious to know how is this? How are people doing this? And no, then we're not. Are... We're not. We're really happy. We're like, <laughs> I'm going to have a glass of wine. I'm grand. curious. <laughs> what do you do with your time? <laughs> if I don't have any. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> There's a part in the show where we do get to kind of give oh, out yeah. to each other about things we want to well, change. Yeah. We about... Turn it on the yeah. end. Yeah. So at yeah. the end of the, and each episode. And I think that's when you're most frightened. Yeah, that's when I'm scared. <laughs> at the end <laughs> of each episode, we get to say to each other yeah. one thing that we'd like the other person not to do anymore. Yeah. Oh. And it's part of kind of fostering I'm that never idea on board of with it. <laughs> just being honest with each other. Mm, yeah. No, no, Dude, no one can get angry. Yeah. But, but it's uh, funny though as well. Those moments are pretty, <laughs> pretty tense. Want, what do you want you to stop doing? <laughs> the number one thing Do it on the telly. Do it on the telly. Well, she pointed out the number one thing is that I... I kind of yes, want to be Mikey's best yeah. friend and she's yeah. left to be the police. To be the parent, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does he find it being home? I think he's loving it. It was a bit tricky. He has just finished primary school in England and would have been going to secondary school, mm. but is now in sixth, sixth. class mm. and it's tough. But he's a lovely school. He's watching. Yeah. Hello, Mikey. Great kids. <laughs> this is what's hello. interesting. Yeah. Like it's, the fact is, you've moved home to Ireland after years and we all yeah. know that Killian Murphy said he had to move home once his kids started getting an English accent. He was like, I can't be dealing with this. Was that <laughs> it? <laughs> you were like, I can't, I can't. Too late. Too late. Oh, no. That's just Killian being Killian. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible because Jarley used to say sometimes, I'd be like, I just can't stand what he's saying. And it's no offense, Mikey. And you'd be like, yeah, because it's in that accent. You know? And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you really only have a <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No offense, Sorry, Mike, Mike, no offense. I know you're watching. He only has a slight twang and he's yeah, losing he's a beautiful every single voice. day. Beautiful and voice. also, uh, I, love, I love his voice. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Best friends. Oh my <laughs> Besties. Besties. That's happening. No, yeah. um, so, Tina, now that you're living out the road, we'll be on yeah. to you for the parenting oh. slots. Yeah. Insider Tina's like, oh my We're God. We're going to see a lot of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what you're going to do. An Irishman at home is yeah. basically what the podcast is going to have. I'm still us. jumping back and forth, yeah. so I'll definitely Jarlis keep still going. commuting back and yeah. forth. Okay. To do, because obviously yeah, yeah. you're doing so much. Yeah. The new podcast is called Honey, You're Ruining Our Kid. And honestly, listening to your podcast is like being with a friend sometimes. Oh, so it's lovely really nice. that you're inviting people in who are lost. Like, it's it's like yeah. really alienating sometimes when yeah, you're a parent. Right. It has yeah. been lovely meeting so you nice finally, you Thank Tina you. and Gerald Regan. Thank you both so much for coming into us today. Great to have you guys. The Cardi lads. You have to get one. I need to get myself one of those.